As an educator, I'm shocked that the majority of the students do not do revision notes in order to learn their academic information. And if you are a parent listening to this video, this is for you. I want to help parents to support their children on their academic journeys to achieve full potential in their academic setting. However, this is usually left to schools to teach the study skills, to teach how to do the revision notes, etc, etc. However, it really rarely happens. So the question is, how the students who then go to university are going to deal with that influx of information and be able to take all that theory, all those textbooks, all those academic papers and actually make them concise in a certain framework. In this video, I want to discuss the importance of making the notes alongside your studies and how, as parents, we can support our children in doing so and really highlighting the importance. And I promise to you, if they do that, then their academic grades will really improve alongside. The current generation of students doesn't really do the revision notes. So how do they revise that? What, you might just read a textbook, but that's not going to help just before the exam, and it doesn't really teach you the academic information properly. And quite often students will be like, well, you know, I, I will reread, uh, you know, whatever teacher wrote for me, or I will reread certain booklet, or I will reread the textbook. But that's the interpretation of the academic information from that particular person. What about you? How did you understand that specific topic? Because the, no the revision notes done by a student is their own interpretation of that particular topic, and it will differ to other students. And that interpretation is what they actually can remember in their exam. And the whole point of the revision notes, they can make the concise information. And in my other video, I'm going to discuss how to make optimal revision notes teaching my framework method. And it teaches a very important skill of how to read any information and how do you take the most important point. The problem is to ask yourself as a parent, does my child read many books outside of the school? How often do they actually write to summarize the information from different academic resources? And if the answer is no, then the problem is how they're going to learn to do these things if they're not ta taught. If your child is underperforming in their academics, the first question as a parent I'd urge you to ask is my child doing the revision notes, very clear, very concise, from a certain resource? And if not, then I can tell you it's really, really hard to learn academic information. I've been a student, obviously, myself. I went through university, I did master's and PhD, and throughout my academic career, I always took notes. I take notes now if I go to seminars or I attend certain courses. It's a way of listening to something or reading something and actually interpreting and saying what are the most important points that I need to learn. This equates to passive learning that then can be supplemented by active learning, which then in turn can be followed by doing exam questions and certain past paper questions. The other thing is, is like, where is this academic information kept? So quite often the students will use like different papers, they'll write them sit down, then they'll forget and everything. And again, my question is, well, a week before exams, how do you suddenly bring that information that you either learned for a year or two years in the case of GCSEs and A-levels? So what I would highly recommend is getting like a hardbound notebook and something like this, whatever you want, right? I just took a black notebook and writing the information all in one place. They could write um, all the topics, they can include that. And the key thing is, there is so much resistance in doing revision notes. And sometimes you almost need like an external person, like me as an educator, who comes in and says, well, you absolutely must make this way. And I know with my students, it absolutely transforms their learning. They do so well after doing the revision notes. Obviously, it's really important to supplement it with exam papers, and but that's so key. And suddenly, my students, they just all improve, but there is so much resistance at the beginning that they don't want to do it. So it's really important as a parent, as educators, to encourage your children to uh, do the revision notes, and I'm a huge advocate about it. If they don't believe this, the key thing sometimes is to maybe 
use some scientific evidence that if you write academic information on pen and paper, then your test scores increase significantly. So this was done by the Princeton University and they tested students whether they took notes on pen and paper or whether they were allowed to use a laptop instead. As you can imagine, the students who used pen and paper had much higher scores because they could retain that academic information much better compared to other candidates who didn't do the notes or just use the laptop for notes. And it's because it was their interpretation of the notes. Because as you write notes, you have to think about them. You have to paraphrase what is in the textbook. So please don't think that copying notes directly from the textbook is the answer. And some of my students start by doing that. And I'm like, that shows inability of making the information concise and actually understanding of what's going on. I can always say that, you know, I'm not a historian, but if I have take history textbook, I can copy things word for word, but that doesn't mean that I really understand the theory and what is required of me to learn it. So it's really important to paraphrase that information and make it super concise. As a summary, what can you do as a parent? First of all, understand yourself the importance of revision notes for your child to do for their subjects. Secondly, explain that importance to them and say, look, this is, you know, there are experiments and studies that have been done on it. If you do the revision notes, you make them concise for each topic you, is required from you, then you're going to do well if you supplement that with past paper questions as well. And also get some hardbound notebooks like this. Folders can be used, but it's so nice to have something like this. We'll just kind of, by the time the exams come, they have these summaries of the topics of everything they need to know by the exam board and they can just overview it and then just go into their exam. I hope this video helps. Please spread this message as well. It's so, so, so important uh, to help the modern generation to do their revision notes and to be able to summarize the academic information. And I offer free consultation or any chat to in order to help support your child on their academic journey. So please drop me a message on my website through my contact form. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my video. Goodbye.